Hi, Eric Welch here with the Direct Marketing Voice. Uh, today I thought I'd do something a little different, a uh, video blog instead of my usual typing. Uh, don't worry though, I'm still drinking just as many energy drinks as I have been before. Uh, anyway, that said, let's get right down to my purpose for blogging today. Uh, recently I received a set of postcards that were part of a staged campaign, uh, the first card of which uh, shows a lonely little boy sitting here wishing that he had some friends in the new neighborhood. Uh, the other side of the card in fact says new to the neighborhood. And um, it's a very nice looking card, very glossy, um, good paperweight on it and everything, nice design. I open it up. It says we've been there, we understand Joe and Lori. Great. Um, well thank you for the wonderful card Joe and Lori. I really wish I knew at least what your last name was or who you're with or some other kind of contact information, but apparently you've chosen not to share that with me just yet. The second postcard shows a mother and child. She's sitting at her computer talking on the phone. Um, this one is talking, sort of addressing the issue of where's the best coffee shop, grocery store, etc, etc, etc. On the back we have another image of a parent with a child. Um, Moving into your new home can be exciting, but what now? And once again, we open up the card and we see that it's from Joe and Lori. Well again, um, thank you for the card, but I still don't know who you are or where I can go for more information or what you're even sending these to me for. The third card in this series, uh, as you can see, it's got the same attractive uh, stock image type people on it. Uh, this side of the card uh, says, wish there was an easy way to meet new people, and we turn it over, it says, where you didn't feel so isolated, where you felt truly welcomed. Okay, by this point I'm thinking, maybe it's a church or community group or some kind of club or something, I, I'm not sure which. Open it again, once again I see it's from Joe and Lori. This one says, we remember those struggles and we are anxious for you to be part of our community, so obviously it is an invitation to some kind of a community. Um, I still don't know, however, who they are or what they want or how to get more information. The fourth and hopefully final card shows an image of some neighbors talking to each other. It says, want a place to belong? I open it up and yes, it's Joe and Lori. In fact, they are pastors, Joe and Lori Champion, of the Celebration Church. And finally, I see now their uh, website URL is on there, and I also see their service times, and there's a nice welcome message. Now, if I had been doing this campaign, I probably would have done the reveal on the third card rather than the fourth. I like to do things in threes because that's the way I was always taught how to do things in marketing and advertising and all that. Anyhow, that being said, um, this is a great campaign, I felt. They used a lot of nice, colorful imagery. Uh, very simple, clean design with some bold text to emphasize the points that they're trying to make. Uh, the only thing I can think of that I probably would have done differently would be to put some more personalization in here and it being the fourth and final card I don't think it would have cost that much for them to go ahead and, and have done that. Uh, since they already have my name in the mailing list it wouldn't have been that hard for them to say instead of as our new neighbor say something like welcome Eric or some other type of personalized message like that. Um, that being said, great campaign, and um, looking forward to talking to you next time here on the Direct Marketing Voice. I'm Eric Welch. Zither with the thing for whatever. This was, this was, I got kind of used to it. I'm taking a minute. I'm recording. <laughs> Whenever you're